Andy Murray is in desperate need of confidence after yet another defeat. Andy Murray will consider dropping down a level and playing challenger events after his sixth consecutive defeat on the ATP Tour. The former world number one went down 7-5-6-4 to world number 66 Tomas Maciek at the Open 13 Provence in Marseille. The Scot, who turns 37 in May and has a metal hip, last won in October, his only victory in his last 10 matches. The only way is to be on the match court and try and find ways to win some matches, said the three-time Grand Slam winner. You can try to do it on the practice court as well but what happens on the practice court doesn't always translate into matches. You need to get on the match court and try and find a way through it. Maybe dropping down a level, playing challengers to build confidence as well. Dot. The Scot took to social media last week to insist, I won't quit, after a claim his current form could damage his legacy. A couple of losses now won't change what I have achieved throughout my career, he stated Murray, who won second-tier challenger events at Surbiton and Nottingham last summer to get ready for Wimbledon, is next scheduled to play at the Qatar Open in Doha in the week beginning February 19. Meanwhile, at the Abu Dhabi Open, Heather Watson claimed her best victory by ranking since 2017 to upset Russian world number 16 Veronica Kuttermadeva 6-3-7-5. Emma Raducanu will bid to reach her first quarterfinal of the season and beat a top 10 player for the first time against Tunisian Ons Jabur today. She's definitely the home favorite here. Rightfully so, said the 2021 US Open winner. Radicanu has set up her showdown with Jabur following her opening round victory over Marie Buskova AR the Abu Dhabi Open, having made her first appearance since her Australian Open defeat. She won 10 of the last 11 games against Buskova to claim a 6-4, 6-1 victory over her rival. She will now be desperate to produce a statement performance against one of the leading female players in the game, in the form of Jabur.